Welcome to this Jeremy Bamber and White House Farm podcast. Today's episode is the first article in a sequence called A Life of Less Liberty, which is a series of short pieces written and first penned by Jeremy during 2010, reflecting on his wrongful imprisonment. He's recently updated these episodes to mark his now 36 years of prison life as an innocent man. If I look back to 1985, when I first came to prison, I realise it also marks the year that Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were awarded the National Medal for Technology Innovation for their development and introduction of the personal computer. Since then, technologies built on their essential participation in the world of computing and communications have developed much further than I could have imagined, and at an incredible speed. I was only 24 when I came to jail, and I was no different from any other young man in being interested in engineering, computers, and technology. The world was changing rapidly. Debate about using a computer for farming to help with the day-to-day running was discussed at N and J Bamba Limited, my dad's farming company. Had I not lost my family in the tragedy at White House Farm, and had I not been wrongfully convicted, it's almost certain that we would have developed our business using computing as a tool. My journey in almost 36 years of life in prison has been restricted, and I've not experienced much of the technology that all those with liberty take for granted on a daily basis. I've been fortunate to use a computer for some years in the Braille translation workshop at Full Sutton Prison, and so coming home won't be a complete shock for me. But I have yet to learn about the likes of smartphones, iPads, Google and Twitter. It's a misconception among some that I have access to a computer, Twitter and Facebook. I don't, and I never have. Prisoners are not permitted to have internet access. I have so much to learn as there are other areas technology has opened. I have no experience of online banking and TV on demand, Netflix and internet radio stations. All brand new things that will be a new and exciting experience for me. I have a great love of watches, and now I see there are some that are actually mini-computers which can record your fitness levels, pulse, steps, heartbeat and calorie usage, as well as being able to answer your phone calls and read text messages on them. This is all like James Bond technology to me, and I can't wait to try it all out. We, as societies, all experience many freedoms with the internet, including freedom of movement, to be in constant contact with our co-workers or family and friends almost everywhere we go in the world. We have the freedom to speak to the world without any great restriction through websites, bloggers, Facebook, and on other social media sites. We have freedom of knowledge at our fingertips, and in the flick of the keypad, we can find out the most obscure facts in a second, which can enhance and enrich our lives, providing us with knowledge for study, work, or simple recreation. I'm not at liberty to experience these things firsthand, but I have some knowledge of these technologies from media and friends and programs I've seen on television. Of course, I've no user experience at all, so when justice finally comes, I'm looking forward to a whole new liberty of which I could have only dreamed of in 1985. And it seems to me that freedom will have never been so good. Jeremy You can join our monthly Facebook meetings, which have a first look at case material, presentations and guest speakers at our official Facebook Jeremy Bamber Justice Group.